So guys, this is my weekly report for December 14th. But I want to tell you something. I got um, going to start a consultant business here starting in January. And um, what I'm going to be doing is going on your boat, showing you how to run your electronics because I know a lot of guys are having trouble with them. And I'm also doing um, going after different species and then showing you actually how to do everything the right way. We have a holiday special. So right now, like if you you purchase it before Christmas, we're offering a $300 gift uh, certificate for $250. You can go on info at allenfong.com, allenfongoutdoors.com, and you can um, leave a message or a call, and we'll get back with you and um, maybe set something up for the first of the year. But as far as like what's going on now um, for the report, um like i told you last week um bluefin's been really slowing up but i think it's about done now um as far as halibut i haven't heard a whole lot because i think people are just tired of going after them but the striper scene is wide open right now um there's a lot of fish i see you guys were listening to the report and there's a lot of guys fishing over there at sherman and brannon island and there's a lot of fish in the system right now and you can go there we did a video on spooning and you could go spooning them in like 20 to 30 feet of water on any of the breaks i showed you what to look for and um, you can also go into the flats which um, i got a video coming out monday that's going to show you how to throw swim baits fishing in that two to four feet of water and that'll be coming up this coming monday but there's a lot of stripers in the system um, we were up north today and we caught um, maybe about 10 fish stripers before we headed on to do some crappie fishing. But um, the fish seem to be moved in the system now. Other than that, the sturgeon, um, talking to some of the guides, they're doing really well. You know, you gotta watch out for the regs because they're changing the first of the year, but they also uh, implemented a new law starting November 17th where if you have your punch card used one already you can't catch any you can't keep any more so if you don't if you didn't use it you could catch one till december 31st and then after that um, no more so look at the regs before you uh, go out sturgeon fishing but the bite has been off the hook roe seems to be the number one bait and they're also catching them on shrimp and eel other than that inside um like i said the striper scene is been red hot uh, they're starting to get a few steelhead because of all the salmon that are returned uh, we did a video on the american river hatchery where it showed you how many fish were returned uh, up there at the mccallamy they've had record they haven't seen this many fish up there in many many years so the steelhead usually follow i heard the feather river has been producing some nice steelhead uh, the american's been a little bit slow but I'm sure there's still a lot of those fish in the system coming up. Other than that, the lakes, um, I know Berryessa hasn't turned over yet. And it should, hopefully by this coming week when we get these uh, three days of hard rain, that lake might turn, decide to turn over. I think all the lakes are just kind of slowly turning right now. And the fishing has been a little bit tough. The trout fishing's pretty good if you find out which places are stocking. Uh, you could call like Comanche or Amador or any of those lakes and they'll tell you the last time they stocked. Um, you could go to Fish and Game's website and they also do stocking too, but most of the lakes are done by the um, lake the, uh, like Comanche. They'll stock their own Amador, they buy and stock their own and they also raise some of their own. Um, I heard Collins been a little bit tough, um, but I think it's all going to happen here, you know, pretty quick. The bass bite at um, our lakes, I heard Folsom, you can get them drop shotting. Um, Berryessa, um, Blade Runner Rick was up there and he's spooning them in 50 feet of water still. I think Paganelli's been going up there. He told me he's been getting some uh, decent fish. and. Um, but I expect as soon as maybe we get a hard rain, things will start changing. 
the crappie scene has been red hot. Um, we came out today, it's really cold out here. The water temperature was 50 degrees and um, the bite was excellent. Um, when, when the tide was moving on the outgo, they bit really well. And then when it turned around, it got really quiet. So crappie fishing is good. I've heard um, Clear Lake been off the hook. And a lot of two pound fish are being caught and down on the south end using crappie jigs. And the guys with kayaks and you see a stick sticking up on the side of their kayak, they're the guys that have the live and they actually follow them. So, you know, if you're out there with just regular fish finders, you see these guys with kayaks with sticks sticking up on the, on the side of their boats, follow them around because they got the live and they actually just follow the fish as they move around. I heard the crappie at Berryessa, when you find them, they're also, the bite's been really good, and the fish are in that three quarter to one pound range. Clear Lake, two pound range. The Delta, uh, you can get them in half pound to one pound. But the Delta's starting to pick up. I imagine you can go into, you know, hog, sycamore, snodgrass areas are all starting to produce. But other than that, um, you know, we're in the fall, getting in the winter. I think number one right now should on your priority should be the stripers and um, you can do it in many different ways. I see guys trolling, I see guys bait fishing, you know, I'm, I'm the lure guy so I'm throwing swim baits and also spooning. Last week we had quite a few hundred fish days um, so it's just time, it's time to get out there and go catch some stripers. So don't forget, you know, I'm doing that consulting. So if you want to learn how to go catch these stripers, um, you can go on, don't forget, you can go to uh, info at allenfongoutdoors.com and leave me a message or call me and we'll get right back to you and set something up. So if you like the video, hit that like, please subscribe. You know, I'm almost at 10,000. So, you know, subscribe and really help my channel out a lot. watching and get out there I'll see you at the ramp